Hello and welcome to Harpic and my name is Jason. Well, what a jubilee we've all had. I think my jubilee was mostly working late and having Sunday off and getting told by customers. Oh, we weren't expecting you. What the hell happened over there? Huh. Oh yeah, I was mucking around that signal still. I must have left it like it. The people are dead on the bench. I'm just gonna stop the film for a minute and fix wow. that. I finally fixed it, fixed, well, fixed the mess. The MG owner club is now gonna be happy because their MGs are not crashed into a back of a willow tree. A random frog eye sprite has turned up. The Bentley's always been there. The Bentley owner's always bought ice cream. The two people are talking about their MGs. Now a frog eye sprite turns up. Ooh, that's a touchy subject. All three good, well, all those cars are nice cars. I've driven an MGTF, that's all I've driven. I've heard stories that the Frog Eye is a nice car to drive. Not sporty, but nice. Um, right, the B1 has had the front lamp eye missing from the last video, no one actually picked up on that. That was 405 views on that video and no one actually noticed in 37 seconds of me talking about that new bit of ground the missing fro the missing lamp line. so i got away with that till i realized it's missing then i end up trying to find a coupler from the o2 box cutting it off from the ends for the linkage and gluing and painting and then put sticking it back on to that to hide the mess of the hole so yeah it now looks like a B17 with the same issue. No, that's not missing. That's looked up. That's looked up. So, yeah. So, at the moment, Harpic is running. I can't get used to this door. It's windy, but it ain't windy. Yeah. So, the B1 and the B17 are running well. Castle headed them out. Um, British Monarch, my star class has been running around the layout quite a lot today, this week. Bradshaw's been testing chips. Oh, Danny, your class 66, beautiful loco, good price. I wish my chassis was a good price. £59 for a new chassis. After I blew up the motor, from the new, the new, well, the rewired chassis. So, I'm not really worried about it. It's just a bit annoying. Oh, J94 and a Panya sitting in, in that coal yard. Forgot about them. Oh, they've been there all, been there for two weeks now. Ooh, better double check on that later. So, yeah. The another thing, oh, another loco I've been running, Golden Jubilee. Been running smoothly around the layout. Oh, I ordered a back to back gauge to sort out the wheels for the 50, the, the class 128. So that's going to be sorted. If it ain't the 128 and it's the layout, I don't know what to do next except rip it up. So that could be next. Uh, J15. Oh, Al. Just remind Al. I hope you're all right, Al. At Laystone Junction. Laystone. I've really got to stop. I've got to start watching more videos over people. March West Junction. I do agree with your signs. Look nice around the layout. I've got to think about speed signs. Think about it. Scamble scenery does do some good things, but I never want to do one of those fences again. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. At the moment, the pick is doing really well. So, I have celebrated the Golden Jubilee. No. Platinum, was it platinum, gold? Plat gold is there. I have celebrated it, sort of. 
What I can't work out is why is Hornby not released a Platinum Jubilee Class 66? I mean, a HST was a little bit pricey and their limited edition West Country. No, thank you. I do not like that color purple. But I drive a purple van. And I've got purple in my uniform. Let's not go there. So at the moment, that is it. And my question, I've, I've got asked this question at the end of this and I've, it's got me thinking, how many locos is too many locos? Don't get me wrong, people who've got big layouts can have so many locos and they're so happy. You're never gonna run them all in one time, are you? I mean, I don't run my little Ruston at the same time I run any of those big ones are there. King Henry doesn't come out of the box that often because only on bank holidays. So I know it falls apart around it. The star class is just impractical for other duties. I've got my friends' kids around, they will run class 66s. I try not to leave any steam locos on it out. Maybe the pannier because it makes them think of duck. I've really got to get Thomas a tank engine. So, yeah. How many locos is too many locos? Because it's got me thinking. I've got three B17s. Must be about four, five, maybe four class 47s. And class 66s, I've only got, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this now. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five class 66s and I'm purchasing another one. So, how many is too many? This wind is driving me out the wall. I'm gonna to have to find something to latch the door up. So I'm worried it's gonna pull that up. So how many locos is too many locos? And how many locos are the same class of locos? Because it's got me thinking. I mean, I've got a rod I don't even run that much and a 56, no, 5200 that I don't like getting out of the box because it's just so derailed so much. You can't leave it on the layout without what, double checking it. So, hmm. And a D49 I don't use. I know that, come, that comes out with my friends kids around, so does Bradshaw. They seem to like those two. So how many locos is too many locos? So, leave a comment. Subscribe, well, subscribe, it's good to subscribe. I mean, I can't say the words subscribe. Black pepper on me. It's got me thinking that now. Um, God, the focus is terrible on this, kept this phone. So, yeah. So, yeah, 405 people viewed this video, last video. Come on, subscribe. I'm at 90, or 92. Be nice to get to 100. So, bye bye for now.